The buzz of conversation. How you doing, man? The aroma of bread baking. Coffee brewing. The cheerful chime of cash registers ringing. Not the first things you think of when someone mentions Detroit. But this is Midtown Detroit. Almost a city unto itself. It's growing like leaps and bounds. Every, every time you turn around, somebody's opening up something new. Sylvia Scott lives in Lafayette Park, right on the edge of the Midtown boundaries. It's surprising me and it's growing. I just wish more people would come back. Even on a cold winter's day, you can see Sylvia's wish coming true. People are coming back, at least here to Midtown. Well, I think it's an exciting time for this neighborhood because of all, it's the, sort of the convergence of a lot of different types of activity. Susan Mosey is kind of the engine that powers the remarkable renaissance of Midtown Detroit. We're bringing a lot more residential housing to the neighborhood of all types uh, for all income levels. We're also bringing in a lot of new businesses, both small and local, and others that are national retailers. Now, in fairness, Midtown is already blessed with a lot of things the rest of Detroit just doesn't have. Wayne State University, the Detroit Medical Center, and Henry Ford, the DIA. We're really proud of uh, TechTown. As you know, it's been an incubator for so many wonderful companies. All big anchors that have made it easier for Midtown to attract the lifeblood of any community. People. I love the fact that we now see people walking dogs, we see people with bike riding, we see people walking, and that creates a need for restaurants, it creates a need for bars, it creates a need for retail, and all of a sudden, you've got a great place to live. Well, it's great to have big anchors in a neighborhood like Wayne State and the Medical Center. What you really need in neighborhoods like this are people who care, people like Scott Lowell. So you're really throwing all your chips in Midtown? We are, yes, betting very heavily on this neighborhood. Scott and his wife own the Traffic Jam and Snug Restaurant on Canfield just off Woodward. It's an eclectic, sprawling establishment that has grown from just a restaurant cheese press for our hard cheeses. to include its own bakery, brewery, cheese factory, even a dairy. In a way, the Traffic Jam and Snug is exactly the model Detroit ought to pay attention to. So it's really just like that, just taking root, just letting the good yes. stuff take root and grow it out. And then it goes a block farther, it goes a block farther. I mean, here, you know, 20, 30 years ago, Canfield was kind of the outpost. And now it's a block farther south, a block farther south, and it's meeting stuff coming up from the north. And speaking of blocks, Scott has taken his philosophy beyond the doors of his restaurant to the blocks beyond. It was a very uh, problematic building for the neighborhood, and uh, we, we took an opportunity to... Uh, to um, Make, make it viable. The Lowells are buying the old rundown buildings and former crack houses in the neighborhood and turning them into apartments and businesses. A lot of places, a lot of people might just stop at their door, so I can't control what's going on in my corner. I, that, that's, you know, somebody else's uh, problem. No, we're, we're, we very much kind of keep an eye on our corner and make sure, you know, that, that it's, it's a place where our customers and our residents and our, our tenants and our kids, uh, you know, feel comfortable.